This is Simeon from praisetracks.com. Today, we're going to take a look at not just one, but four of the Vienna Symphonic Library's uh, Synchron Pianos Bundle. Not just, not just one, but four. We're just going to touch on each one just a little bit. So let's just get right to it. This is the Synchron Piano Player. You notice that I have uh, all four pianos loaded. And the first piano that we're going to take a look at in this collection is the um, the Bosendorfer Upright. You know, like I said in, in a previous video of an upright library, the uprights are, you know, the soundboards are such that you almost have the equivalent of a, of a nice small grand piano. And then, uh, you know, when you pack it into a nice uh, smaller space, you get some beautiful intimacy and and. Uh, uniqueness and resonances in this. And the way that I've learned about this uh, Busendorfer upright is that the way that they built the cabinet and the wood and all of the artistry that went into this piano, you have just a beautiful tone. And they recorded this in uh, studio, I guess, studio B. So I'm going to switch over and we can, let's see if we can take a look at that. Um, yeah, so this is Studio B. It's a smaller studio, and this shows you the uh, close mic selection. And then when, when you have the full library, you have more of the surround mics available. But you can just see how nice and clean and close this is. And I'm kind of uh, just playing the, um, the, surround, uh, the surround mix right now. Let me just uh, pull this up and see what preset we're using. Yeah, so I'm, I am using the... Um, the concert surround to stereo mix right now. And you hear how open that is? It's so nice and open, and you hear all those nice little resonances. And let me go to one of the uh, full library settings, the concert uh, setting. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this MIDI, MIDI, MIDI sensitivity down to around minus 10. Because that lets me just uh, dial in my controller so I can get those real soft notes and I can just, you know, get that full range. And this is just the concert setting. So this is, this is included in the, um, in the standard library. But you can hear how beautiful that sounds. And let me pull up the mix page here, and you can see what mics are active. Yeah, it, you know, the thing is with, with these beautiful uprights, especially the new uprights, it, uh, it, you know, it, they don't sound like uprights. They sound big. They sound nice and big, but intimate at the same time. Uh, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just mute some of these other mics so you can hear uh, just the the close uh, condenser mics. And you know, one of the cool things about the Synchron player is that you have EQs, effects inserts. You just have so much that you can do. And so you can see with this microphone, the condenser, they rolled off a little bit of the low end, and they they gave it a boost. Um, they gave it a boost around 4K. And so let's just take a listen to that. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. Okay, you got some room verb. Let's bypass that. Yeah, so that that way you can hear just the uh, and you hear how tight that is. So because of the smaller room, Studio B, you've got a tighter, you've got a more tighter sound. It's just like in your. And you hear how nice and dry that is. 
So the benefit of having something dry is that you can shape it and put in put it into any environment that you have to let it fit and sit into whatever recording that you have. That's cool. So let's just turn on some other mics without the reverb, just so you can hear the um, the room a little bit better. Just the natural. Yeah, you hear those real nice early reflections and. Listen to how those, those samples just ring and, and just hold on. You've got that full decay. So some sample libraries, they don't let you hear that full decay of the samples. But, you know, the reason why these are so, uh, so dynamic is because they let that decay just go all the way. You just get that full decay. So it's just really cool. So... Uh, let's go to a couple more of these presets. And, um, you know, what's included here is they give you some really cool effects presets. So let's, let's check, um, let's check some of these out. Uh, magic doors. Yeah, so let's see what they've done here. Yeah, so you've got lots of EQ going on and you've got some saturation and ring reverb and some high pass filtering going on. with the upright. <laughs> mm. So it's like really cool that they give you all of these um, ways to tweak the settings here. Let's go to another effects preset, uh, Candy Cotton. And wherever, wherever it lands, it, it's just like, Okay, now I was going to get into this with some of the, uh, it's the, tam the, the timbre shift. Uh, it just, now listen to what that timbre shift does when you tone it down. It gives you that, um, that cinematic type. I just really like that real soft. like the sun coming up. So you can turn that reverb up right here. Yeah. And just give a little more space. That's very nice. Yeah, so just jump right in, guys, if you've got any questions or want to see anything in particular. Um, so we don't have the sympathetic resonance turned on. Let's, um, let's turn that up a little bit so we can hear what that sounds like. And you hear, you hear how that goes. And I'm going to turn the reverb. And you hear that, you hear that resonance. And that's what makes this uh, upright so beautiful and so unique is the, is the way that the whole upright kind of resonates. So the, um, 
the actual piano is, you hear that resonance. And I'm gonna bring the timbre shift back up to normal. Uh, let's see, so we can go to option, control click, or nope, let's see, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Control click, here we go. And you hear that, see no reverb, it's just the resonance of the piano. And you hear how that just makes that beautiful. Um, and we've got the body turned down just a little bit. And we can turn that up so you can hear what the difference is. Yeah, wow, that's great. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. And uh, and uh, so we can, you know, we can come back to this if, if, you, if you'd like. And again, you've got soft pedal, sostenuto and sustain uh, pedals. If you've got extra pedals or controllers that you can uh, hook those in with. Um, and I think, um, let's go to the Bluthner. Okay, let's just see here. Yeah, so here's the Bluthner. Uh, and, and as well, it was recorded in Studio B as well. So you still have that really closed, close uh, sound. You see where the uh, the surround mics are are placed. So that just gives you a really nice idea how that was recorded. And so here we go. Yeah. And the Bluthner, uh, or if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize, Bluthner, uh, is that they've used four strings per note, and that gives it just an extra amount, amount of, um, they call it the golden tone, that, that just this extra shimmer. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn the reverb. Yeah, just listen to how that's resonating and. And we do have a room verb. I'm gonna take that off so we can just hear the, the sound of the piano itself. Yeah, you still have that little decay and the, the, the decay just, brings it to life. So it basically, yeah, the string, yeah, so it's not actually hit by the hammers. So it just acts as a resin, as an extra resonator. Yeah, that's cool. And you can hear that when you hold the pedal down or just hit it. You hear it, how it just continues to ring out. So that just gives it that extra little nice touch. Still got a nice bottom end on that. Um, wow. Yeah. 
And this also has some nice effects. Yeah, so this is... But that room, that intimate room, that smaller room just gives you a totally different feel. Yeah, you can hear just that shimmer, that nice shimmer. And again, I'm I'm just I'm just struck by how those notes are just it's just like it doesn't seem like they're ever going to end, but they just let it go. They let it go. And these are all uh all 24-bit samples, and so that's another reason why um that the the overall size of the uh, library is so huge is because they're using a 24-bit uh, samples. So let's just check it, check out some of the effects presets uh, from a distance. Um, and it does sound out there. So let's just, just check this out. Talk about ambient, nice ambient. And with that sustain, it's just incredible that Yeah, that's just really, really incredible. Just, just, yeah, just letting that ring out like that. And having those extended samples just lets the whole piano kind of come together. Um, it gives you that full experience. Um, oh yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I guess that's the word pristine uh, and just with such care and um, yeah. And, and this is the other thing, the editing, but this is, this is like the edit page where you can go in and edit individual notes. Okay, so I can just choose this note and I can put a, I can put an EQ on just a single note if a, if a certain you know, scale or range of notes were bothering me, I could go in and, and fine tune that. We've checked out the upright. And um, so let's get in, let's get to the big boys here, the, the Steinway. And we're just gonna load the concert uh, at first. The Steinway was recorded in the center of the synchron stage. So the Bosendorfer, uh, let's see. Yeah, the Bosendorfer was recorded to the, um, to the, as you're looking at the stage, it was tuned to the to the left, and then as your the Steinway was recorded in the center of the stage, and then the CFX was was recorded on the far right of the stage. As you're looking at that, um, this is the Steinway D, and this is recorded straight up in the middle. There we go.
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's why we're here. <laughs> So let's look at the mix page. Uh, and you can see they've got the room mics turned up a little bit. But the grandness and the bigness and the, uh, the gloriousness of that Steinway is there. It's there. It's just uh, very overwhelming. So I'm going to solo, uh, and let's just see a reverb. Let's just see what the reverb is. And and you know, I looked up the RT660 on the Synchron stage, and it's about 1.2 seconds. Um, it's about 1.2 seconds of decay. Um, Just, yeah. Okay. 1001, 1002. Yeah. So it's just that very, very nice compromise and decay because the, the room will not overwhelm. It will, in, it just, it just kind of supports the, the natural decay of that. So I'm going to uh, solo the condenser mic. Yeah. So it's like you're sitting right there. So you can see where they've kind of taken out some of the uh, some of the EQ there. Let's put the other room mics in. And I think that's where it really comes alive is, is because of that, that those extra mics. And I think when you have the other mics in, it, it really brings it alive. So here is just the condenser. Let's pull up another one of the um, the intimate room mixes here, man. But you can hear that hear the power in this. Um, yeah, this is that intimate room mix. find it. <laughs> and I like that room mix. I 
I like that. Let's let's go on to um, the CFX. The CFX, again, on the Synchron stage was recorded. As you're looking at the stage, it was recorded all the way to the right. You can go into the mix page and you can go ahead and set those mics and just center it, do whatever you need to do. Again, the flexibility uh, in what, how you can set these libraries up. I called them um, ultra high definition libraries because they've they've gotten so many thousands of samples per, per note. I think like somewhere around 4,000 samples per note. So you're going to like uh, ultra high def uh, territory here. Let's just see the concert mix. Here we go. It's like, you know, you know what it's like, um, man, you know what it's like. I can, the only way I can describe it, oh man, forgive me, uh, you know, um, this is what happens to me, uh, uh, is, is, it's okay. So if you can imagine, if you can imagine Niagara Falls, uh, Niagara Falls 
and it it is it is it is it has a well, for for a lack of a better word it has a dam built in front of it it has a it has a barrier built in front of it and and then all of a sudden something comes along and blows that away and then what happens is it's a flood of of um, man all of the stuff pent up inside it 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 takes it takes beautiful instruments like this to just burst open the floodgates of the creativity that is just inside each one of us there is there is there is a a a pent up creativity i think in every musician and it takes a certain element a certain time a certain encounter whatever it is to open that up um we're just arranging as you know i'm just doing it <laughs> i'm just doing this on just as we're we're experiencing this together um wow let's just pull up an intimate um intimate room mix incredible and you hear how nice that is now let me see something because you can hear if you're listening on headphones you can definitely hear how things are kind of um kind of panned yeah this is bet yeah and so they've got the room mix kind of panned a little bit yeah this is what we're getting ready to do here so this is the CFX and um, and I'm just gonna pull up um, pull up my good friend um, stylus RMX here and just um, And just see where we can go with this. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay.
And you see where I turned that timbre shift down a little bit, just to kind of give it a nice little, um, nice little touch. Control click. Yeah, there we go. Control click. Um, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some, there's some other things that we're gonna work on, that I'm gonna work on. Um, so let's check out um, uh, just the ambience. Let's check out the ambience. Yeah. Okay, let's just go back up to this ambient, uh, ambient room mix here. Yeah. And you hear the room. You just hear that room. See the room. I, okay, so uh, so like in sports, the the spectators are like another player on the team. Uh, like if, and so. I consider the room uh, and the mics just, uh, you know, they've, they've got to, they play just such a, an indispensable part in, in the sound. And this is this nice ambient. And you have inserts You've got insert effects that you can put in, um, you know, delays, distortions, dynamics, and you can put these on every room, on all the room mics, uh, and have, you know, all of the EQs. You can send them to different aux channels, different outputs on your DAW. Um, it's just, uh, they give you, they give you just such a nice, uh, selection of, uh, you know, you can just take it anywhere. Uh, the intimate, let's just see the intimate for that. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what that. Uh... And you hear that beautiful resonance. Let's go to the concert and finish this off. Okay, somebody wanted to hear Gershwin, and 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 again, you know, I I didn't study uh, uh, classical piano playing. I mean, I'm telling you, the, the one of the things that I that I say a lot that I learned a lot of my classical music from watching uh, Looney Tunes and uh, Bugs Bunny, and um, and then uh, so so it's all inside here, and so it's trying to it's trying to get out. So. Uh,
it's just all of these recordings, you talk about storage, I mean, how your mind and your, it just, um, how it just stores everything, you know, um, yeah. Zhivago. <laughs> and you see how soft you can play this. This is the CFX. Just the dynamic, you can have the very soft to the very powerful. Man. I just thank you guys so much and just please subscribe, like and share, all of that stuff. It just really just helps. Um... Yeah. Now this is a Hamburg. Uh, this is the Hamburg Steinway. You hear that round tone of the Steinway. Tell you what we'll do. Let's jump to the Bosendorfer real quick. When I started playing, what I just started playing, I said, "This is this is this is the, the Bosendorfer uh, territory." Here we go. Yeah, and I'm going to use the mighty, the mighty preset here. concert setting. I'm 
to go to the Steinway and select the player preset. We'll, we'll do the, the player position from the Steinway and then we'll go to the CFX. So here we go. So you can hear that right here. And so. And they've got the condenser turned up a little bit more so you can. So that gives you that nice. Okay, now let's go to the CFX and do the same thing. I'm gonna just kind of stay in the same key and in that same, um, that same mode here. And we can hear what the player sounds like on the CFX. Here, when you when you hear them back to back, you hear that quality the CFX has, that real nice. And I hear those notes dancing, just dancing around, just like you're sitting right there. And let's go back to the uh, Steinway, just for comparison. I'll do the same thing. You hear the different characteristics of these Just for fun, let's go to the Bluthner player and do the same thing. We'll just pull up the player preset. Totally different feel. It's more close, more intimate. Now let's do the Rosendorfer upright. Um, so the velocity layers are insane on, on these. Uh, so here's the upright with the player. For, for an upright, that sounds, I mean, we, we have a preconceived idea of what an upright is. Um, you know, it's just, um, man.
that's beautiful. So let's go back to the CFX. <laughs> let's go back to the CFX as we as we end today's uh, stream, and uh, I'm going to pull it uh, into the intimate. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Uh. And this is just the room mix and the close mic on this intimate setting. beautiful. How beautiful. Wow. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And again, please subscribe and click on the notifications. I want to thank Ben from VSL for being a part of our, our journey today. Uh, like I always say, sample libraries are not just libraries, they're destinations. And boy, have we gone to some wonderful places uh, today. And, and please go ahead and contact uh, VSL and set up your account and just let them know that you watched the live stream today so you can uh, get your license, your demo license, so you can experience these uh, for yourself. And um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's almost Christmas in July. Yes, so thank you so much. And again, this is Simeon Amberge for praisetracks.com, and we will see you on the next live stream, which might be sooner than you think. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>